first race of the season. Um, calendar is pretty much set for the most part. We're waiting on a couple confirmations, but I can pretty much release what I'm doing. On the way to Psychologic, uh, early season bike fit, a check-in, see how the body you know, has changed with any strength or how it changed in the off-season, and just kind of get the bike position as dialed as possible this early on. Um, it's just kind of important because we'll check in again in a, a couple months as the training you know, gets more consistent and as we do more strength work and everything. So heading to Psychologic with Parik, who's been doing my bike fits, as you guys know, for you know a number of years. So. Um, yeah, just always a, a good thing to do early season and constant check-ins with him have been kind of a staple for me now for the past few years. How's it going? My jump rope broke. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, that's one way to end the test. Yeah, what were you at? So, first race of the season. Um, calendar is pretty much set for the most part. We're waiting on a couple confirmations, but I could pretty much release what I'm doing. At this point, you've probably seen me talk about maybe the first race I want to do of the season or one that's happening in the middle. So I want to start the year off a little bit later this year than usual. A lot of years I've started off February, March, but this year my first race of the year is going to be in Oceanside. Absolutely love that race. From what I hear, it's going to be a super competitive start list. Uh, so yeah, just really looking forward to that. I might spend a lot of time out in Oceanside beforehand as well, and that's always a lot of fun for us and have a lot of good training. After that, um, I think just for the whole year, PTO races are a pretty big focus, and as this video is being recorded, there's a couple of them confirmed. Um, the biggest one I think being the PTO US Open. That's exactly, you know, right about the time and place that I would love to, to peak for. Milwaukee is a couple hours from where I grew up, west of Chicago. I've got family out there. So that'll be a super fun one, just like I love the PTO in Dallas last year. I think Milwaukee's gonna be a lot of fun with it being same weekend as age group nationals and everything as well. And a couple other highlights uh, at the beginning of the year. Escape from Alcatraz is always on there. Challenge Roth is kind of the biggest race in the middle of the year so far. So we've got Oceanside, PTO races, uh, Alcatraz, Challenge Roth, which I'm super excited for. This video is actually gonna be released after you guys all know about it, just cause the race and I are announcing together when the, the announcement eventually comes out and just doing that over social media but super iconic race i want to you know go out there and treat that it's gonna be my one full distance race of the year i'm already qualified for kona 2024 so as i said in my last video basically the longest kona build there's ever been and i just want to go into this race really race some of the best competition in the world and lay it all on the line and just see where i end up because it's a good learning experience for a full full distance build where i can really focus on you know my nutrition my build and have more than just a week of full distance training so that's going to be great to test that 
and already talked about Milwaukee and basically have things planned up because then it's 70.3 worlds a few weeks after Milwaukee and after that you know it's really hard to actually dial in your year for, for the full amount without knowing what's going to happen just how the year flows how those races go but that's about six races right there of really super high quality racing that I'm really looking forward to after that we'll throw in some other races potentially but I'll have a little bit of a break because the reason I'm not going to Nice this year is <clears throat> because of my brother's wedding which I'm very excited for so I might take a little break around there and then finish off the season strong because next year is going to be you know we're already talking about next year and it's the beginning of this year but it's just a super late season so we're taking this two-year approach where we're looking at what are the races we want to peak for this year <clears throat> and how can we be the best we can be in late October and in December next year when the two world champs are. Where I'm at right now, I've basically done four weeks of real training. Um, had my first, just finished up my first volume block and starting my first intensity block here. So everything is going really well. I've adapted to volume pretty easily, which is not unusual for me. I really respond to that well and have had my first couple yeah, pretty intense workouts just trying to set the bar for swim, bike, and run, and those have been going pretty well too. So in a good spot, uh, everything is lining up pretty well. It's just four weeks into the season, have about eight weeks to go until Oceanside, and I just wanna hit the ground running. This is the year I have some great momentum coming off of 70.3 Worlds in Ironman Arizona, and that's just what I want to roll with and how I want to start my season. So I raised the bar for myself last year at 70.3 Worlds, but that's the floor now. And I'm looking to, to keep pushing myself and pushing my competitors and trying to raise that bar. Yeah, in between the last race of the season and the first race of the season, you get a lot of time to reflect and you start to think about what you want for the year. And that's kind of, I hashtag every time, work hard, dream big. And I don't know, I've just been thinking about why and what it is I want out of the year. And honestly, I just want to win. I, I, the most fun I have is when I'm racing and when I'm racing at the front. And I've picked big races this year because with a lot of pressure, there's a lot of opportunity. So who knows what this year has in store, but I'm pretty excited about it. And this is what it's about. There's something beautiful and amazing in all the suffering and all the hard work you have to put in in between, even though it can suck half the time. And you wonder during some hard intervals when they aren't going your way, what the hell you're doing but I think that's one of the things that I just absolutely love is building the fitness, getting fit, knowing that you're fast, and then just racing. Because racing is so simple. It's just be the fastest. And that's, that's the goal. That's the goal for my entire career is just be the fastest. So, setting out to do that.